What's up guys? My name's Nelson. Welcome to the Chan Chan. Today I'm driving a 2011 Honda Accord SE. King of the road, baby. Woo! Woo! We hit it with a cold start. You basic. There's not even a light or anything. Leather wrap steering wheel with all the buttons. We got a touch screen radio with reverse camera. Woo! That's a huge trunk. Oh, yeah, baby. Gotta decide how good and reliable a vehicle is. Obviously, a test drive is very important, but we gotta look at the inside. And the first thing you see on the inside is just the black how black it is on the inside and I love it. Black is the best color on the inside. And we got leather seats because this is the SE, the special edition. I love the special edition. I actually used to own a special edition Honda Accord and it was not this nice. This is super nice. The seats are in good shape. A little bit of wear here on the driver's side seat. Also, one of the things that I noticed right off the bat, everything is nice on the door panel, but then you got this. This guy right here is cloth. And then I was like, huh, maybe they just replaced this one. But that one over there is cloth. And the one in the rear seat is cloth. And they're all cloth. So at least they ordered all of them, all four of them, and replaced them all as cloth because I'm pretty sure those are supposed to be leather. What are you guys thinking of the Honda Accord? If you own a Honda Accord this year, older Honda Accord, or newer body style Honda Accord, please let me know what you drive. Let me know how much miles you got. Let me know if you love it. How dirty these things are right here. And I try to clean them up, but sometimes things just don't come out the way you want them to. And man, this stuff is stuck on there. I have no idea what it is. Some kind of candy, maybe. It doesn't feel sticky to the touch, but it is just dirty, nasty. Good shape. The cup holders are working good. This is working good, too. But it has um, some USB cables that are running here, so I tuck them in into here, in here zip tied them, so they look nice, sleek. Right here is a little bit worn out. Not ripped completely yet, but worn out. This is all working good and it slides so it's had some repairs done already and i mean is it better to buy a car that had those repairs done already or a car that you need to put money into it to have it looking good and, and performing well same thing we have a radio touchscreen up here in the front that is not working hold on let me put my sun visor perfect time to test my sun visor and it is working perfectly these hondas are known for these sun visors light works also but like i was saying the radio has been replaced it's right down here and we have these cool AC buttons here which are original but man this sleek kit is, is sexy yeah and the radio does work pretty good let's hear it AC is ice cold I can feel it now Woo! I mean the radio sounds nice and crisp this touchscreen is really nice Sony Wow, Sony, it's gotta be an expensive touchscreen. Another thing we gotta look at is the outside. Like I said, this is a charcoal outside, black inside, and it's the special edition, so it's got the SE wheels, and I love the special edition because it comes with wheels. And like I said, I think the, I think the black interior is just a plus, because I think the SE usually just comes with wheels, or it's probably like the other generation, because that's what I owned. I owned the last generation. I had the 2000, I think seven Honda Accord. And man, that thing was amazing. Four cylinder. I mean, this car is just legendary. It's the king of the road. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> Merging onto the freeway up to speed really really well shifted really really well i've been driving it slow and driving it fast it does excellent i'm going 60 miles an hour now i can feel the steering was just slightly off see if i can hit 70. Hmm. 
So around 75, there's a little bit of shakiness in the wheel if you guys can see it. Also, the steering was just slightly off, but it's not that big of a deal. It probably, I know we installed two new tires in the front and this car is fully serviced, motor oil, transmission oil, uh, tires in the front, and I'm not sure 100% off the brake pads and other suspension pieces right off the top of my head, but I know we did a lot of work to it. I know it's a good, reliable car and we just have to, there's just always these little tiny things that, that you can do to make it perfect. So for this one, definitely an alignment and a tire balancing. History of the Hondas. I mean, I had a 2007 Honda Accord. It was a special edition just like this. Mine was like a baby blue. Oh, I miss that baby blue, dude. I don't know if they make the baby blue for this year. They have to, right? I've seen baby blue Acura TSXs, which is very similar to this platform right here. But I have not seen them in this generation. The differences between this Honda Accord and the TSX because I own a 2009 Acura TSX which is basically the same thing. At least it's supposed to be. But I will say this, the 2009 TSX, the dash is closer to you. Same thing right here. You see all this space that's here? You don't have that in the TSX. The seats. The seats are very comfortable in this. The seats on the TSX are very comfortable, but I feel like the seats on the TSX are bulkier. They are bigger and fatter, and then they're comfortable. They're a little more sporty because they hug you just a little bit more on the sides. That's what I can feel right now, but I still think that these feel really, really well. This is my bumpy road. Let's hit the bumps. A Honda Accord this generation, I feel like it has just more space. Same thing with the old generation, Honda Accord and TSX. But the generation TSX this year does not have that space and I'm always complaining about it. I just feel so cramped in it. Compared to this right here, I just feel like I have more space. I feel more free. And man, this steering wheel is gorgeous. A little bit of wear on the top. But I mean, this thing has 161,000 miles. It is just running fantastic. I mean, I don't even feel the transmission shift. You know, I'll try and do it every three to four months. Uh, you know, three to 4,000 miles. But the transmission oil. Go to Honda. If you just bought a Honda Accord and buy an entire case of Honda automatic transmission fluid. That is enough fluid to get you through an entire year. If you change your transmission fluid, you know, every time you do the motor oil for a whole year, your transmission will last forever. Every single time I have a Honda and it's shifting a little weird, a little odd, transmission oil makes it shift so much better. I believe that I saved the transmission on my Acura TSX by just changing the transmission oil. Because I had an Acura TL, which is kind of the same exact kind of thing if you were getting a Honda Accord V6. It's got, the V6 comes with the 3.2, and the Acura TL comes with the 3.5, but they have that they share the same transmission. So I would do the transmission service once a year on my TL. And I mean, Acura, Honda, they're kind of known for the transmission, especially on the V6. So I would recommend you do the transmission service if you're buying it used more than once a year. You got to do it two, three times a year, four times a year. If you do four oil changes a year, just do it. It's going to save your transmission. It's going to, you're going to spend a hundred dollars and it's going to save you thousands guys think would you guys rather buy the 2007 older model or would you rather buy this 2008 and up updated model and the really cool thing about this year is i believe in like 2011 and 2012 the car gets a little bit of a facelift that means some updates and i love it when manufacturers do that they have kind of like the same body style but they'll change the headlights on it they'll change the bumper on it they'll like add hoods and different things and this is the front to our 2008 Honda Accord. It's not a giant facelift, but it, I mean, it is a good amount of facelift. This is the rear to my 2008 Honda Accord and the rear to our 2012 Honda Accord. And you can just see the differences. Very minor, but to me, they make a world of difference. Actually me, preferably here in the rear, you can see it has this reflector kind of thing. And that's gonna help you so you don't get rear-ended. Now, hold on, I'm hearing something. Whoa, what the heck's that noise? Oh, there it is again. Is it the AC? No, AC's off. So when you're doing test drives, always look for weird noises. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure it was this, this prop right here making that noise. And broken right there too. 
All right, that's fifth gear. So all gears shifted just about perfect, smooth like butter. They don't call this the king of the road for no reason, right? What's more important, a clean Carfax or that the vehicle runs good? No accidents reported to Carfax. Four previous owners, what? 28 service history records, personal owner, last owner in California, and is it all California? So it looks like all California. The last owner only owned it nine months so this is not a very good carfax if i saw this in online and was going to buy a car without seeing it without test driving nothing i would not buy this vehicle at all one because of the owners too much owners for a car like this one they only own it for nine months so it's got to have some kind of weird issue why did they only own it for nine months this is a great vehicle do you know that my dad went to the auction personally and he drove and he drove he thought it drove awesome so he bought it That's the video guys like comment subscribe i will see you guys on the next one